Hey, hey, you guys. Clever TV is back. I'm Dana Ward, hanging out with this guy. You know him. You recognize him. It is Bo Burnham. Hello. Hello. Hey. So, Zach Stone is yeah. going to be famous. Brand yeah. new MTV show. Brand new. Tell us about it. You are Zach. Yes, I am. <laughs> yeah, it's about a kid trying to... Uh, be famous by taping himself. He hires a camera crew with all the money he was going to use for college and uses it to uh, become famous. The new American dream, I guess, being famous. But he doesn't have any passion or talent or any of that stuff, but that's all pesky nowadays. So is he ready to be famous just for being famous sort of thing? Yeah, Or what sure. are we going to see? Uh, well, there's a lot of things. He's going to try s vaguely something new out every week. But uh, yeah, he's ready. He's... He wants it, which is all I think people really need in order to be famous nowadays, it seems like. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Yeah. So talk to us a little bit about your co-stars. I know you've got a little brother, Andy. You've got a friend, Greg. You've got a I got neighbor, all people, lady, they all, they all friend. Very common names. We got Greg, Andy, Amy, Zach. Yeah, who are uh, they? Uh, they're played by the lovely Amy. Is played by the lovely Caitlin Gerard, and that's the sort of girl next door. But... She lives four houses down, and she's very, she's the one, I, I always thought of her as like the uh, the actual like beautiful show that's right in front of his eyes that he can't see. You know, he wants mm. to pay attention to the hot, trashy girls that have interest in him because of the cameras and not the person that has interest in him in spite of the cameras, which is mm -hmm. her. He's got a little, you know, brother and a little head friend because he's a head. And uh, <laughs> they all just... Uh, yeah, they're all just trying to like deal with this kid who is uh, completely self-obsessed because he's been taught to or, uh, yeah, it seems like we're, it's like we're in a culture now that like glorifies and like rewards people for being selfish. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, that's what it's sort of about. Do you bring any and experience? Do, yeah, do you bring any experience to this? Because yeah, I, yeah, I mean, yeah. obviously we know you from YouTube, mm. comedian. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, like. The, the whole show is definitely, like, made to be hypocritical. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's sort of like... I, I lived this a little bit. Uh, I don't think... I, I, I mean, I'm certainly not famous, I don't think. You know, internet celebrity is a lovely oxymoron that people like to throw around. But you're you're more way. famous in than the people on TV. Uh, no, I'm not. Yes? Certainly not. No way. But then who? People on TV? Yes. Yeah? The right, power me, of me, the internet, please vote. No, no, me, walk down the street with me and Zoe Deschanel and see who gets more attention. But I, I'm, I think I'm, 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 I'm glad that I'm not there because I think I can at least see with outside eye, but also have like a bit of an idea of what it means. And it's like a, the story is I think in a lot of ways for me going back and retelling a story from a different perspective and seeing what happens when the priorities are wrong. It's more about like passionless pursuit of fame, which is always very confusing to me. People who have a passion for fame rather than, I always thought I had a passion for writing or telling jokes mm -hmm. or doing music. And that just happened to be something that if you can get successful out of people will know you for it, mm -hmm. you know? But it, that, that my, it started with a passion for that. And Zach has none of that. Zach just <laughs> wants the fans and wants the yeah. attention for any, so the passion is filled in by whatever. He yeah. wants it to be. I mean, the setup of the show sounds really funny. I've heard that on the set, you guys actually get to improv a little bit. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty loose. I mean, we want it to seem like very conversational, yeah. very real, because it is supposed to be a reality show this kid is filming. And, mm -hmm. like, it's he's supposed to be aware of what the characters look like and die. And he's trying to create a television show, and the enemy is reality. You know, like, it's a reality TV show where the biggest thing in his way is the reality of what his life is. So... The actors who are all very good improvisers, like by doing that, it just all sounds much more natural. And obviously, funny things will come up and stick because of that. But for me, it's always more important that uh, the dialogue sounds more natural. And by improvising, it helps to do that for sure. Are there any particular episodes that you want viewers to look out for? I don't know. I like them all. I mean, I do. Like, they're all. It, what's fun, I think, is that like week to week, you don't really know what's happening. And that week to week, there's a completely different... Zach has a completely different idea of what he's going to be famous for. But the story is still tracking for because the show isn't about really apparently what he wants to be famous for. The show happens accidentally, at least in his life. Like, the things that he's suppressing, which are his actual feelings, his relationships with people, the things he's trying to keep out are the heart of the show and are what really carries you through the season. And then his wild schemes are what happen every week and every episode. But they, they, they intertwine pretty nicely, I hope. 
And uh, yeah, I don't know. They're, I all I like them all for different reasons. I'm excited for most of them. Most of them. Yeah. <laughs> I would say a good. You'll like, just have to watch them all. Yeah. yeah, 65%. That's that's good rate. Right? That's yeah. a good one. Last question: What reality show would you be on? What reality show would I be? If on? you weren't on your if own, I had a choice? right? If you weren't on Zach Stone. I'd be. Um, I don't know. Well, what qualifies as a reality show? Because like Survivor was the first reality show. Mm-hmm. I feel like I could do. Like, um... Maybe The Voice. The Voice? I've been watching The Voice. That's, that stuff is wild. Um, yeah, I couldn't sing on The Voice. Maybe, like, Fear Factor, if they brought that back. I'd probably do that. I'd probably eat some things and be harnessed into something. Be some. good at it? Not be good at it, just be honest. <laughs> and why That's should everyone show. tune in? I know I said last question, but of course, yeah. it's a brand new show on MTV. Yeah. Why should everyone tune in? Oh, I don't know. I think it's good. I think it's funny. I do think it's different. And I think it's a nice... It's young, and it's made by young people. Mm -hmm. And I feel like it hopefully shows youth in a way that isn't like what it typically is, which is like 30 and 40-year-old people rewriting what teenage years are. Mm -hmm. You know, I started this one. Dan and I, Dan Ligano, who made the show with me, uh, like I started this when I was 19 writing this, so I was pretty fresh out of my teen years. So I think it's pretty particularly young and does respect to what young people are without like being like, I'm on Facebook, LOL, which is like this like canned (laughs) version of what youth is, which I don't think is really Mm -hmm. uh, truthful to it. So hopefully that means something. Also pirate it, put it on BitTorrent. Is Zach Zach Stone going to be famous? You have to find out. Oh, I'm excited to find out. Thanks so much, Bo. Thank you. Thanks for welcoming us. Thanks, you guys, for checking out the show. Keep it here for all the details on this brand new MTV show and more. Whoa. Bye. Pretty good. Sweet.